So we're going to continue with what we were doing uh, Tuesday from that knee shield. And we're going to go a little bit knee shield slash collar sleeve here. Back up just a little bit. So. Close guard. I'm going to be in on this collar a little bit deeper here, okay? Not way up here at the top. I want to be able to keep him from pressuring in. All right, so kind of between his chest and his deltoid muscle, I can find a spot to put my fist there. Okay, so a deep grip here. I'm going to go cuff grip. Remember, thumb comes out. Switch my hips. Bring my knee up. Just kind of standing on his hip. Left foot's going to come to his hip. All right? Now, we did the triangle setup the other day. We're going to work on constantly threatening this arm, okay? I'm going to show two different ways to do that. Right now, I'm going to do it just with the shield to see if you can get an easy one, okay? So here, I'm pressing in and pulling, right? If I have this sleeve, I can start to set up my scissor sweep, all right? The triangle. But I'm also going to be always pulling at this elbow. Trying to get this elbow joint, which is right here, past my thigh. All right, so I'm here, I'm gonna use that. See how his arm's getting compromised as it is? Now I'm gonna work on hip it up as I pull. Okay, now I'm just gonna drive this down to bend his arm against my thigh, okay? Here, now I'm gonna come up, clamp on the back of his neck. My knee is already past his bicep, so I'm gonna be able to free that leg. Even if he's hugging my leg, I can still put it on the mat and move, okay? So when I'm here, clamp, foot to the mat, and I go over his shoulder, cross my ankles. I'm still holding his lapel to transfer to his belt. Hold tight. From here, I'll switch to the tricep, okay? The reason I'm doing that is to not allow him to straighten this arm out, okay? Holding this lapel is okay. What I don't want to do is him to go towards the wall with his left left side of his body. So other way, just like kind of go, uh, just kind of like lean towards the wall and straighten your arm up. Right? I don't want him to get that arm out of that position. So if I'm holding here, I get the belt so we can't roll. Switch to the elbow. Okay. Now from here I can work on breaking it down. If I need to, put on the mat kind of hip escape, and I'm gonna shoot my legs forward as I sit up. Here, chase, okay, hold. His arm's already bent, now I come up, okay. Notice I'm just kind of not really popping up too much yet. This arm's just kind of keeping it from going anywhere. Put the foot up and come up. Make sense? Cross grip or cross collar, cuff, extend the legs, switch, bring the knee up the middle, step. My hand is on the inside of the knee. Foot goes to the hip. Right away, start to threaten that. Okay? Now, even if he pulls back, right, I'm going to pull the hip up, his elbows pass, and drive that down. Keep it with my knuckle. Here. Here over his head, control, switch to his belt. Okay, once I get his belt, I'm gonna switch to his elbow or tricep. Okay, so right here. Control. Now I gotta cut my angle a little bit because right now I'm a little sideways. If I try to shoot forward, I'm going into his neck. He's just gonna posture back into me, right? So if I'm holding here, foot to the mat, keep this tight, hip escape. Now I can come up, chase, okay, switch, come up. With the chase, are you controlling behind his tricep? Or I, my left arm in this case is controlling his tricep. Right arm, his belt, mm -hmm. his skirt, or his pants. Here, okay. And then when you go to sit up, you have your hand almost around him. Here, yeah. right, 
I want to be able to go straight, not into his body. Okay, so I'm going to adjust my body, right? Now, sit. Chase. Right there. Don't leave this leg bent. Okay. Because he'll immediately stand back up. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. I want to extend this, change my angle, and come on. Is the, is the hand over there the chase or lever? Is that this one? support for you? Yeah. Which hand? This right hand? Yes. Uh, if I don't do why, this, why do you put that over? Over here, mm -hmm. so he can't roll. Okay. Okay. Especially uh, come back. So if I don't hold that, and I try to come up, he's just gonna roll on that left shoulder. Right. I don't want him to get away from me. Now, if I have him controlled and I know he wants to roll, and maybe I don't feel that I have, I can't, can't break him down. I can turn that into a sweep. I can allow the roll. Um, but I want to do it on my terms so that I can dictate position when he does complete the roll. Does that make sense? So, back up a little bit. If I'm holding his belt, right, and I'm controlling his elbow or his tricep area, okay, here, and I know he wants to roll, I can, if I know, I can try to start rolling, right, it's hard for him to go, okay? I know he wants to do it. So maybe I, I've tried, i tried, I can't break him down. If I know he's gonna roll, I'm gonna switch my right hand to his elbow, go ahead and roll. I'm gonna come up with him. And I'll be attacking, okay? I can spin into a mount attack, or I can re-roll and finish, okay? Does that make sense? Any questions? We're literally just setting up the omoplata. All right, don't worry about re-rolling or any of that kind of stuff. We just want to break them down and finish the own plot. Good? All right, one, two, three. All right, so now we're going to play, it's like that knee shield position, but we're going to play what they call collar sleeve. I'm just going to change what I do with my, instead of having that shield, I'm going to use my foot, okay? That's going to allow me to create some space for that guy that's, Kind of, I don't want to say stalling, but really not giving up a, a lot of opportunity for you to, to manipulate his body. Okay, so. All right, good grip, right? Come in here, here, I'm threatening, right? Maybe he's just kind of, or we're just kind of in this stalling position. I'm just not really getting anywhere. I can use this, whether I circle and go to the shoulder or to the bicep, I can use that to create space. Okay, so I can kind of reside here. He's gonna, he's gonna grab the pants, man. That's what they do, right? And then I can start to make an adjustment, right? He, even if he's resisting this press of my leg, right? That's, this is fine. It's kind of, I'm like a pseudo spider guard position here, right? This knee is still available. Here, drive, okay? From here, I can clamp, same thing, okay? We go through the same exact process. What also will happen is when I get to this point, I'm coming down to turn the corner, he knows what's happening. So his defense is gonna be, he's gonna try to turn into it. All right, so it's the, right back to the triangle, okay? So now I'm in the position we were in the other night. From here, I hold this collar, I'm gonna let go of that arm that I have, bring my knees to my chest, grab my shin. So I'm real tight here, okay? Foot to the hip, cut my angle, so I'm using that foot on the hip and taking my head towards the other side. So my leg is going over the top of his shoulders, okay? Straight across as I can get. Toes high to the ceiling, none of this. Okay, toes pointed down is no good. Tight, pinch, okay? So it gets really tight really quick. I'm gonna have a deep angle on if I can get to that spot. And I'm going to use that when he counters that omoplata and tries to turn into me. He's going to basically try to stay square with me so I can't come around the corner. Does that make sense? So here, here, right, shift, knee comes up, threatening right here. All right, he can grab the pants, right, I can start to go right on the inside, all right, depending on how he plays. So I could be in the shoulder or the bicep. Either way, okay? Come up, drive that across, foot here. Start to cut the corner, he comes back in, 
Throw the leg right back up into his neck. Cross my ankles, pinch my knees. See, I'm still holding. I'm gonna let go here, pull in, okay? Now I have him dead to rights. He's almost laying on top of me. Foot to the hip, cut my angle, finish my try. I'm not even gonna bother moving the arm over. Now, after I lock it, if I don't feel like I'm getting that tap right away, I can lift my hips up and move the, move the shoulder. I'm sorry, his arm, okay? I don't necessarily want to screw with that until I can get the triangle. Because especially if he's bigger than me, I'm not going to have three or four opportunities to move him, to adjust. He's just not going to give it to me. The second I try to let, I allow him any posture, I'm going to have a hard time getting it back. Does that make, does that make sense? Just if you're one of the smaller guys in the room, you got to be cognizant of that. Which is why the Omoplata is good here because I don't have to worry about getting stacked, okay? But it is a good option to go back to that triangle if he tries to turn in. So from a drilling perspective, I just want to get into how we're going to get to that Omoplata with that position here. Um, do both, okay? So your, your partner can kind of turn back in. If they turn back in, we're going to the triangle. If not, I just go right to the oval plot. All right? Those moves are always going to go together. Triangle, oval plot, arm bar. From, from whether it be closed guard, this position, any of those. Once I get into that triangle, I can always threaten an arm bar from there. Okay? Arm bar is probably my last option because it's probably his best chance to get out. Um, my finish rate on the triangle and oval plot is probably going to be better. Just my personal opinion. All right. One more. Here, switch, knee comes in, here, right? He starts to go for a grip on those pants. I'm not really worried here. He goes on this other leg, right? I'm going to adjust, go into the shoulder here, or depending if he grabs the pants, right? He could grab at the knee too. Whatever he grabs is fine. Go into the bicep. I'm going to start to adjust. See how I'm clearing space? And I drive. Okay? Here, right? If he doesn't come back into me, I'm in the same spot we were just in. Okay? Switch. All right? And we get a, we break him down and go for an old part. All right? If I'm here, he starts to come in. Club. So from here he turns in. Boom. All right, I'm switching my angle. Cross my feet, pinch, grab my shin. Do this because we have to hold his posture down, okay? Don't let him do this. He's gonna, once he's here, I'm done. Okay? I better have to switch. Possibly back to Omoplata, but I want to control this so he cannot. Tries the posture. It's difficult. I can also cut the top of his, the crown of his head here. Come up, super hard, all right? Foot to the hip, cut my angle, okay? Lock, finish. We good? Any questions? All right, wrap that out the rest of the class. One, two, three.